Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I am going to do a ring, tree ring pour. And if, and I'm thinking about doing a balloon smash in the tree ring. So that's my thought process, but we will see as we go. Because sometimes when you do a pour, things magical happen and you like don't want to go in the route you thought you were going to go. And sometimes they don't happen the way you think they will. That's the beauty of acrylic pouring. So I am doing, I based my colors today off of a challenge in my Facebook group. Someone had asked about uh, doing a challenge this month and it was kind of late in the month, about halfway through, but I posted a challenge based on a photograph of a beautiful butterfly perched on some really bright yellow flowers and green leaves. And so I did the color swatches from the photograph and this is roughly the colors that are in the photo. There was a lemon yellow, kind of a golden color, more of an orange tone and a reddish uh, rusty red color and then a brown. So that was kind of all the flower tones, more yellow than anything. And now that I see that, I think I want to go ahead and mix up a little bit more yellow. And I can do that for you right here since I've already got everything pre-mixed. And then, so let me show you though what I used. I used pretty much Arteza paints because I love the vividness of their color. And the lemon yellow is what I'm going to make another cup of. I actually put some Deco Art white satin enamel into that to lighten it up a bit. And I put it in my lime green to lighten that up and get a really pale lime green. So those both have the Deco Art satin enamel and white. Just a little bit added to both of those. Then I have, this is a Sennelier, Sennelier abstract bright yellow green which is that green color there. The rest are colors that I mixed together to get the color I wanted. So that's Prussian green with a little phthalo blue, a little burnt umber in it. This one here is burnt umber and burnt sienna. This one is burnt sienna with a little scarlet red. This one is scarlet red with some yellow ochre and some lemon yellow. This one is yellow ochre with a little lemon yellow. So I kind of intermingled all the colors and I also have a little bit of metallic gold left from the other day. Maybe I'll throw a little bit more in there of that one too. So I'll move these out of the way. Again, they're Arteza colors. They're fabulous. And um, they're very thick, rich, and creamy. So it takes kind of less paint than it does some of your other brands, which is a good thing. So I'm going to finish this pack. It's kind of like a pouch. The large ones come in pouches. The other sets come in tubes. And I do not have any silicone in any of those colors. Everything is mixed one part paint to one and a half parts of Oetrol Easy Flow or if you're using Floetrol. So I'm going to add I want to use more of this than I do the paint because the paint is so super strong. It's thick, rich, creamy, pigmented and I just um, I use a little bit more of the Floetrol and less paint because you just don't need as much paint with Arteza. And the good thing about Oetrol, which I use this because it's graciously given to me by the company and it's, there, there's a lot of people outside of the U.S. that do not have access to Floetrol. And this is a European, Oetrol is a European company. 
So it has, it's you know something that the people that are in that area can use and they should be very pleased with it. It's, it's fabulous quality. I actually love it more than Floetrol. It is harder to get. You can only get it on Oetrol's website or on Amazon, which is in my link below all of my videos. But um, it really is thick. And so you do have to add water with it, but it self-levels better. It dries with a touch more of a sheen to it than anything with Floetrol does. So it's quite nice. But I did, I put the Deco Art Satin Enamel in the two just to add a little interest to this tree ring. I wanted to see if it would sell up and do some funky stuff like it typically does uh, with that cloudy effect that a lot of people are aiming to get, which I've done several videos on. So, okay, so there's, there's not much difference. That's the lemon yellow and that has some white in it. I have some of the deco art white mixed up and maybe I'll add just a little bit more white to this one to make it a little bit paler. But I'll, I don't think I'm going to use white in my pour. I'm not sure yet. But I don't want white to take over. I want this to be a colorful painting. So this is supposed to be kind of a springy looking painting. Just making sure my consistency is pretty good. I want these not super runny because I am doing a tree ring. So I want, I want the thickness to be pretty substantial but not so thick that it doesn't want to move on the canvas. I'm going to add just a touch more water to that one. The metallic gold wasn't on the palette swatch for the color swatch you know, for the challenge, but it's in the family of these fall golden colors, so I thought it definitely will not it shouldn't change the look of anything, so I thought, well, I'll just add it in because I had some I needed to use up, and you do not want to waste this beautiful metallic gold. It is just too gorgeous to waste. So embrace it, use it, right? I do love my metallics, and like I'm going to use very little of these colors here, and the greens I'm not so sure about. I do want them to come through though. So I'm not sure how I'll do this pour, but we'll see. I'm going to pour on a canvas that is 12 by 16. So it's kind of a rectangular shape. Typically when I do tree rings I like to do on a square canvas, but my smaller square canvases, I'm, lo I'm low on them. I've got a couple of cla a class tomorrow and I need those for my classes. So, And I have a really like a 20 inch sized canvas and I did not want to use these colors on a really large canvas in case I did not like the pour. I would rather save my larger canvas for colors that I love. Even though this might turn out super cool, it may not. It's kind of a hit or miss with these greens and oranges together because, you know, green and orange can take over a pour. And I, don't, I want it to feel more yellow, but I just want some interesting things to happen with it. I'm just curious. And like I said, I've got a balloon smash on the back burner in case I don't like the way the tree ring effect turns out. If I don't get any cells that pop up or whatever, I may take advantage of that balloon and do some smashing. I think I have a lump or two. I was trying to see if I could find, or if I just don't have my paint mixed up. I'm not sure. But you don't want any lumps in your paint. I think it's pretty good. Okay. The last thing I need to do is look on my phone and see how many ounces I need for a 12 by 16.
really pretty in the cup. That's like photograph worthy there. Really pretty. I am going to heat it just to get bubbles out. There's really, to me, there's really no other purpose for heating. When I use OGX for cells, I get great cells. All this does is bring up dots most of the time for me, but it does pop bubbles. So that's why I did it this time. I thought about putting some white around the edges, but I don't think I am. I'm going to embrace the colors that are here. They're not typically the colors I would choose for a pour, but this was based on a photograph that was, you know, it's spring feeling and reminded me of what spring is about, about growth and life, rebirth, things growing again, coming to life again that were dead during the winter. So I'm just kind of rolling it around right now. I don't really want the green to take over, but it may. This is why I didn't do a 20 inch square canvas because these were not my colors that I would normally choose and I did not want to use a 20 inch canvas on these colors. This could make a nice background for something but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try the balloon smash because there is nothing outstanding about this pour. It's pretty insignificant. So I just may do a smash in a few areas. Got a glove blown up. I have balloons, but this has a little bit more give to it. I'm just going to try it in a couple of places. See, I knew the orange tones would be underneath. I've got some just paper stuff set aside to do stamping on because sometimes this can be really pretty. Interesting. Okay. 
that uh, gold combined with the orange and it's just sparkly. It's so pretty there. Do this one again, press down harder. It's making interesting patterns. kind of rolling it off the corners. So that one was a pale yellow corner. That didn't work as pretty. Try to stick a little color back up here, but it may not it may not blend. Yeah, I'll stamp again somewhere else and then put some color back there. I'm going to try one more time here, but I don't know if I'll get color or not. I'm wondering if I could drop a little color right there and stamp. Too much paint. <laughs> ah. Drip, drip, drip. I just do it really gentle. Leave it be. Just leave it be. That puts some color back there though. I could totally do a, an abstract flower right there and use these colors that are so beautiful. 
So here we go. Not, didn't turn out the way I expected it at all. Not at all. Nope. How do I get that effect? Okay. Do I stop? Do I do it here? <laughs> this is a lesson in persevering. That's really pretty on the balloon. Let's see what it looks like on the table. See, that's so pretty. This makes a great way of stamping off on other things. It just does. Okay. I think... Do not use your stick without wiping because if you don't wipe... And if things feel heavy, you can kind of soften the load a bit. Come 
I'm going to blend these out a bit. I feel better about this composition and the colors. So I am going to leave it this time. The edges are really, really fascinating. Those are super cool. So I'm going to call this one done. I made a huge mess. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell in the bottom right to get notifications when I post new videos, and feel free to contribute to my PayPal account. Just a little bit goes a long way in helping for supplies and everything. I don't get stuff for free. I do promise that. It's not for free. The only thing that was free in this video was the Oetrol. Um, I really enjoy making these videos for you and I can't wait to bring the tutorials to you soon. So be looking for an announcement when I have my tutorials started and I will let you know how that is going to work and um, I will continue to make the YouTube videos as well. So I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.